Wrath Fresh servers are almost here and you need to get geared as quickly as possible. I've compiled the very best strategies to get your gear in tip top shape in the least amount of time. I'm Come with you. me on a journey through Wrath Fresh gearing. You are not prepared. The first thing you'll wanna do on Fresh is to hit max level as fast as possible. The fastest way to get to 70 on the Fresh servers will be with a questing route. From 70 to 80, you'll wanna mix dungeon spam with a questing route. You'll definitely want a questing add-on to save both time and energy. Rested XP offers a speedrunner written route for optimal efficiency, but at a price. Meanwhile, Guidelime has many free routes from top speedrunners and world first guilds. Next, you need to hit your TBC raid lockouts as fast as possible or the loot will be wasted. Raids will be heavily nerfed in the pre-patch, so join every possible raid that you can. Prioritize getting badge gear and raid pieces since they'll speed up your wrath leveling significantly. While you're hitting those raid lockouts, make sure to hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. I've heard sometimes that a Frostmourne can just pop right out. Moving on, Blizzard will very likely let us buy season four gear for honor, so buy all the pieces you can via dailies and BGs. And of course, make sure to save up to honor cap. Marks can be turned in directly for honor and wrath, so let them stack up in your mailbox before launch. Speaking of stocking up, if you want to be the very first to get my fresh gold making video, hit the subscription button and click the notification bell now. When Wrath launches, make sure you have a dungeon spam group committed to hitting 80 as quickly as possible. I'll even have a shared guild bank stocked with supplies for all my leveling partners. Once you're level 80, it's time to hit the dungeon grind. Forge of Souls and Pit of Sauron Heroics will be big priorities. You'll want as many emblems of heroism as possible for easy item level 200 gear. Now that you have some gear, hit Naxxramas, Obsidian Sanctum, and Eye of Eternity week one. If you don't hit the raid lockout, all that loot will be lost. One last thing to do is hit up Brewfest to get free item level 200 trinkets when Wrath comes out. You'll save hours of time getting the Brewfest versions of item level 200 trinkets. By now, you should know the best route to gear up as quickly as possible on fresh Wrath Classic servers. I'm personally planning to play fresh on one character and I'm so excited. But what about you? Are you planning on playing on the fresh servers or focusing on the existing servers? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, make sure to check out my top 10 quest to prequest guide, which will save you over four hours on Wrath Launch.